How does the recycle bin in Windows work? What does the recycle bin in Windows actually do? Is it just a glorified folder and a holding place for soon to be deleted files, or does it do something specific? Specifically, are files that are moved to the recycle bin actually moved on the hard disk, or are just the pointers to the files moved? I am a fairly experienced user, I just wanted a more depth explanation of the recycle bin. The reference is removed, a metadata file is kept in the recycle bin to know the original location. In the early days, on Windows 95 and 98 this was located in backslash recycled. On Windows 2000 and later it was renamed to backslash recycler. Since Windows Vista it is now a special folder called backslash dollar recycle dot bin. Use process monitor to see the IO under the hood, put a filter on recycle dot bin and visit it. Smile. For example, when I do this. Note, the long folder name is a user SID. The last folder name is a hash based on the metadata. I get a file that contains metadata information like this. The reason that the file path has spaces in between is because it is stored in wide byte chars to support special characters for certain languages as well as Unicode and what else. The earlier symbols are binary and contain information like the file size and permissions, as well as a pointer to the file data. In essence, it contains enough information to reconstruct the original reference. It's sad that the Windows internals book doesn't cover this, or else I would have had more reference. I haven't found any articles that go into detail on this, neither by Microsoft or by third-party people. They probably do exist but I found it easier to go and reverse engineer the main concept. I've done some extensive research on this, as it seems, surprisingly, there is very few info available online on how Recycle Bin actually implemented. Everything is not that hard to grasp. When you delete file in the bin, it is not actually moved to it. First, let's take a look at the subfolders of $recycle.bin. See column backslash $recycle.bin backslash S1518 is folder for built-in system account. See column backslash $recycle.bin backslash S1521 xxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxx
So, here is deletion algorithm. System creates hard link of the deleted file in C column backslash dollar recycle dot bin backslash S one five twenty one X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X one triple X backslash folder with the name dollar R X X X X X X dot an LT file underscore X and GT where X X X X X X is six symbols hash calculated based on the file contents, as I assume. Metadata file is created in the same folder with the name $xxx.nlt, file underscore gt. I will show you the content of this file later. Original file is deleted, but because of extra hard link in $recycle.bin, actual file's data stays in the same location on the drive as if file were never touched. It is not moved anywhere. This is why each logical volume must have its own $recycle.bin folder as hard links only work within the same volume. That's about it. Restoration algorithm. Metadata file is read and hard link of $rxxxxxx.nlt file underscore x and gt is created based on $xxx.nlt file underscore x and gt s info in original file location with original file name. Both metadata and backup file are deleted from $recycle.bin. Pretty simple, ain't it? Now, the most interesting part is that metadata file. All values are in little endian format. Header is fixed, and it's identical for all the files. Be warned that some $i files might have some junk bytes, FFA, appear before the header. I have no idea what are this for, so you should check for full header before reading further. Deletion date is in file time format and can be converted to usual system time via file time to system time. It represents 100 nanosecond intervals since January 1st, 1601, UTC. So it's not super complicated file format, but quite interesting design. I'm planning to use this info myself by creating custom garbage collector for Windows, that I will add to task scheduler to launch periodically and scan backslash delete files that were deleted more than 24 hours ago, etc. I know that Windows 10 has built in option for this, but it's not flexible and not reliable, it sometimes leaves metadata files, while only deleting dollar a files. Also, I think, previous Windows versions doesn't have this feature at all. I encourage you to experiment with this too. For example, your program might save metadata info of all files it removes into some database, so you would have full history of all files you ever deleted. If you like to support the channel, please consider subscribing.